Well, <laughs> here it is. I got the phone call this morning. This is the release day for the Nikkor 85mm uh, F 1.2 S Z lens. And I got, well, actually, I called my local store this morning, and lo and behold, it was there. So, this is it. Not a first, I know, but it's a first for me. Here's our little bag. They just give us little bags, not the pouches that we used to get. That's been the case with all these Z lenses, my knowledge. Here we are. This is the moment of truth. If I can get a hold of that, there we go. We've got some foam. And here it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to say, oh my God, <laughs> like those uh, renovation shows on TV. This is it. Wow, it is beefy, it is beefy, that's for sure. But you know, it's it's actually, once again, like a lot of these new Z lenses, it's a lot lighter than it looks. I know that it is a little bit lighter than Canon's um, equivalent, their 85 1.2. It's, um, it's bigger, but it is actually lighter. So it's a beauty, ooh. And I know from, I've already seen an unboxing this morning from my uh, friend down under who lives in the future, <laughs> Matt Irwin. I already know that uh, this was hidden at the bottom. So thanks for that tip, Matt. I probably would have missed it as well. So there it is, this big honking lens shade. And yeah, that makes it look like quite a beefy lens, doesn't it? <laughs> and I can't wait to try it out. So we just came, this is rather an unorthodox uh, unboxing for me. I usually do it in the studio. But um, just had lunch after picking this up from my local store and came over to the park. And that's where we're doing this unboxing at the local park. So yeah, there's not uh, much else in here besides the lens cap and this, as I said, this little pouch and the destructions. So let's go try this beauty out. So off into the park we went. Really, it was immediately apparent that there was something, should we say, special about this lens. Certainly like nothing I've ever used before. Beyond just the shallow depth of field that you can get with F1.2. No, there's definitely something else going on here. The rendering really is unusual. I think I've heard it called cinematic and I would totally agree with that. Now the minimum focus distance on this lens is 2.79 feet or 0.85 meters, but could you really re regard this as a macro lens? Well, I decided to get down amongst the flowers and see. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I think it's a pretty sturdy limb, and say that this really is a goat level lens, and it was accepted amongst its peers. Well, when it was time for the goats to go to bed, we headed across town, a quick trip into our old neighborhood, and then before sunset, I wanted to get to a place that I knew would be good for some more wildlife photography. <laughs> the timing had been so good all day. Not only, of course, did I get to pick up my lens, and they got it into their stock so that I could buy it, but then we made it to this location just as the storm was blowing in. The wind picked up, we even got some rainbows, and uh, witnessed some very brave people <laughs> taking a cold dip. From there, I wanted to stop at another of my favorite locations, and Amanda bravely modeled for me just as the rain started. Well, this is just the beginning of my relationship with this lens, and there's gonna be lots more, so 
please do check back. In the meantime, take care. Cheers. And we'll see you soon.